But back to one of your points. Don't put her on the Olympic team. Please don't. Because and the rationale is because it would it bring more attention to the women's game and US team USA. But that's y'all's fault. Women's team has won what seven straight gold medals, Olympic gold medals? I think it's seven. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I know it's more than six. Yep. So team USA women's team is the standard, the gold, the standard of excellence in women's basketball. Men's team, U.S. team, been pissing around for the last, what, four or five years. Yep. When the men's team loses, it's headline news. It's, it's, it's all. Even though they've been doing it for a while now. <laughs> you know, and especially the world championship game, world championships, who that means nothing to the American players. Zero. <clears throat> means nothing to them. The Olympics is more important to the American players than, you know, and it's flipped, it's reversed. International players love the world championships more. It's more important to them than the Olympics. Yep. As you called out last year, you said, you said, don't be surprised when the last dance, when LeBron, KD, and Steph unite for Team USA for the Olympics in Paris. Yep. You were the first people to say that here on this show. Yep. And like, what, days later, it all came out, trickling out. Well, sources say LeBron James and Steph Curry and Kevin Durant are going to unite and blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Uh, whatever. 